Thanks so much, Ryan. During First News at 5 and 6, we told you the EPA is having Norfolk Southern test for dioxins. The EPA will be overseeing these tests. Scientists and activists who have been following the train derailment and controlled release say they still have questions about how that testing will be conducted. First News reporter Desiree Gosselin shares more on what dioxins are and reaction to the start of the testing. Its toxicity is... Um is remarkable in its breadth of effects that it can cause. It, it is one of the most potent and is often described as the most one of the most potent carcinogen ever tested in our country. That's how Stephen Lester describes dioxins. He is a Harvard-educated chemist who has been an activist for 42 years, starting at Love Canal in New York. He says he wants to see a testing plan that lays out exactly how, where, and what they are testing for. There's a standard suite of 17 dioxins and furans that I would expect is what they would look for. He also wants to see testing for a wider spread of chemicals because more chemicals could have been created during the burning process. The most toxic is is a chemical with the acronym TCDD, which stands for tetrachlorodibenzoparadioxin. It is the element that was found in Agent Orange that made Agent Orange so toxic. Recently, Lester sat on a panel for River Valley Organizing and answered questions from worried residents. Amanda Kiger, who runs River Valley Organizing, has similar concerns, but says she doesn't think the dioxin testing would be happening without community pushback. This is really indicative of folks who feel like um, we're powerless, and this shows absolutely we're not. We made noise. We called out their foolery, and now they're doing as we asked. For WKBN 27 First News, I'm Desiree Gosselin.